studio, I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. As the players get in that final stretch, just about set to kick it off with some Big 12 action. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Jacobs has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. He'll return it from the three. Brought down at the 28-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Quickly to the tailback. And they make the stop around the 30-yard line. Got it. And he goes down quickly. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. That'll bring up third and inches. Steps out the 39-yard line. Hey, not a huge play, but an effective play nonetheless. Be able to pick up a first down. And again, this offense right now just making good decisions, moving the sticks, and maintaining possession of the football. Nice gain as he works to the right side. Gaining five yards. That brings him second and five. Here's an opening. Good tackle there in space. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. He takes it right side for a good game. Gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. From the 30-yard line, second down. Makes the catch and look out. Knocked out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Call it a gain of 18 yards. That makes it first and 10. for a loss. Complete. He's got room. Tackle made at the one-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. The Cavalry's coming, keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. He 
He makes the PAT. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Get you up to date on the action in Denton. And for North Texas, they've now come up short five straight times. Texas State gets the win, 28-7. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Oklahoma State lines up for the kickoff. Across the 30. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. Rice's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Brett, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Got some open field. Tackle at the 48. Looks to the back and can't connect. From their own 48-yard line. Third down. Here's an opening. They'll bring him down right around the 38-yard line. was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. Here's third and three. Ball on the 31. Flares it and it almost had it intercepted. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. Side linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. He's going to try and scramble. He's got the corner. It's on a move. Touchdown. You know, he was looking and looking, and he finally said to himself, you know what? I'll just take this thing myself. Nice decision making. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. A nice 10 play, 60 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drop. We get a tie game at 7 7. Morris has it at the five. Tackle Morris made at the 33 yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Grabs it and hammered right there. And he 
he's taken down at the 49. That's a game of 17 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Larry, Larry, Larry. Put the seven to Mike. Mike put the seven. Crunch time, defense. the ground with a tailback and he is drilled at the 46 37 yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. He's into the open field. And they get nice yardage on that run. That'll bring up second and three. Watch a slant. Watch a slant. Watch a slant. Caught open field. He's tackled at the 22 yard line. That's, That's good, good for a gain of eight, eight yards. yards. First, first down. down. From the 22 yard line, it's first down. So at the end of one quarter, we're even at seven in this one. Set to resume action here in quarter number two. Deadlocked after the first 15 minutes. Caught and he's hit immediately. sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. So it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field. And he hits the PAT. Atkinson is lined up to kick this one off. He's out to the 30, and he's tackled at the 33. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's scrambling. And he hits him hard at the 44-yard line. Taken down at the 46 yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. He's on the run. And they make the stop at the 42 yard line. He gets 
rid of this one. They're about four yards away here on third down. tries to buy some time. He gets sacked on the play. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Patterson is hoping to boom this one down the field. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Oklahoma State is up by a touchdown. First down, Grant. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. First down. Throws. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. Okay, okay. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle at the 22. receiver he tackles him for a loss that's a loss of four yards well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play they read it from the get-go it's second and 15 ball on the 26 Bring him down at the 18. Gain of eight yards. Third down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 57. Mike 57. Go easy, forward. easy. Here they come. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Oklahoma State is up seven. He's got him, but he's short of the first down. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Scrambling around. And he tackles him hard at the 32-yard line. scrambling and he can't get away from the pressure how about the effort of the defense right there the owls taking their first time out of the half so it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack in your face he scrambled now he's gonna run and watch out he's at midfield and he's tackled right around the 42 yard line
He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes at about the 31. who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. First and 10, ball on the 10-yard line. Heading for the corner. Touchdown, Rice! He is such a talented, skillful back, as you saw right there. What makes him even better is that these coaches know how to use him. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. SMU and TCU. The winner gets the iron skillet. During the game, they would probably use it to hit each other. The Horned Frogs unleash their aerial assault and score a touchdown. TCU has the edge. 21 to 3. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. They line up to kick this one away. He's taken down at the 28. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Throws incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. That brings up third and ten. Five wide. Hand off, and he's met immediately. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 48. Steps up in the pocket. He flings it. Intercepted. And there isn't anyone who's going to catch this cornerback. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. From midfield, first down. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Dives forward. Room around the corner. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. The Cowboys will use their first time out of the half. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Brought down at the 35. Oklahoma State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 35-yard line, second down. He 
heaves it to the end zone. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. Going deep, lays it up there. Doesn't get there. So at the end of the half, 14 apiece. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Locked up on the scoreboard at halftime and not really much separation in terms of who's had momentum in the game either, David. It seems as if every move one team's made been countered by the other. Yeah, tick for tack. You score, I score, you hold, I hold. And, you know, this is uh, this is two great teams going at it. And that's what's, it's always fun to see the chess match go back and forth. And, you know, the uh, momentum swing one way and all of a sudden swing back the other way. But very rarely do you see it go back and forth, back and forth. And now we got it all gridlocked at the half. And it's a good ball game. And it's going to be fun to watch in the second half. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Curb Street, ready with a call. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin, and we got a tight game here. He'll take it from the two. They'll bring him down at the 20. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That makes it seven and six. Hey, kill, 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 15. Nice run there. That's, That's good for a game of four yards. Yeah, that makes it third and three. They bring him down in the backfield. Well, I, I think calling the plays, you've got to be aware of this guy. He's making too many plays. And when he's that close to the line of scrimmage, defending the run, not allowing your running back to even get up to the line of scrimmage, you've got to do something to make him pay for that. If he's going to cheat up to the line of scrimmage, if you're calling the plays, listen up. This is a great time to go play action and try to throw the ball right over top of his head. He's tackled at the 49. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of four run. That'll make it seven to seven. hit immediately. Steps out of bounds at the 11 yard line. third down and seven yards to go all on the 11 zips it to his receiver touchdown these guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays they've got to get on their toes He's 
splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Getting a little bit hot in that iron skillet as SMU and TCU square off. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. Here's a rivalry that is flat out nasty. And for Anderson, he's barreled into the end zone for a touchdown. All right, Reese, back to our game. Number Oklahoma one, State center. gets set to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Let's go! Fires out to his receiver. He's knocked out of bounds around the 32-yard line. That brings up second and one. Seven yard line. They'll drop in for a loss. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on their own 42. Dog four. Yellow three. Yellow. Now he tries to buy some time. Fumble. It's scooped up, and it's a lineman that's got it. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Q26, Q26. Be a long day for you. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That's going to bring up fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. Rice is not going to back down from anybody, Herbie, I guess, at least not today. No, not today. They've played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Oklahoma State is up a score. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Man two. Run, run, run. And they make the stop, the 39 yard line. That's a team of two on the way. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Flex 57, 57 is right. Check, check. He's out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Four down, four down. Check Mike 57, Mike 57. Easy two. Zips it to the back. Tackle made around the 47-yard line. Williams on the tackle at the 47-yard line. That'll bring up 32. Caught 
Open field. Tackle at the 45. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Complete. They'll bring him down at the 32. Call it a gain of 13 yards. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 32. Oklahoma State up seven points. Kill, kill. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And he's tackled at about the 19 yard line. First down. Get to that quickly. And he's level at the nine. That's a game of 10 on the play. That, that makes it first and goal. You ain't got nothing. Put the seven to Mike. Mike, put the seven. And down he goes around the one yard line. Game of eight yards. That brings him second and goal. It's the 11th play of the drive. Touchdown, Cowboys. And he adds the extra point. Makes it out to about the 21 yard line. Don't leave yet, folks. We still got one more quarter to go. 28 14, Cowboys. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. out to around the 32. And now he's got room to run. And he hits him hard at the 49-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Owls. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. We're cooking up a dandy in the battle for the iron skillet between SMU and TCU. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. These two teams hate each other. The Horned Frogs are on top, 21-17. One touchdown difference in this one, Reese, 28-21. Jacobs has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Oklahoma State is up by a touchdown. Slings it. 
And he's taken down at the 48. Rodgers makes the set at the 48 yard line. First down. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it second and two. Gain as he works to the right side. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. Keep it down. Caught over the middle. Brought down around the 31 yard line. Gain of nine yards. That'll make it second and inches. I'm coming up to you. I'm coming up to you. He might have a chance. Makes it out to about the 20. Gain of 11 on the play. First down. Here I come again. Here I come again. Here I come again. Easy. The 10. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Boy, did he look determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. And he converts the extra point. Atkinson gets set to kick this one away. Taken from the 10. Tackle at the 24. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out on the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. That's good for Is out to the tailback on the screen. That's a great tackle at the 27. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Just under three to go in regulation. Quick throw, almost intercepted. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. lot of success on their last possession and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position it's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone and he makes it out to about the 24 yard line from the 24 yard line it's second down Brown tackled after a decent pickup. Rice will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Big play, and it's first and goal. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And 
and they'll get him in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Five wide. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he tackles him hard at the six. Williams on the tackle at the six-yard line. It's third and goal from the five. Let's see if they can put this one in. Just over a minute left. Touchdown, OSU! They line up to kick this one away. Brought down at the 34-yard line. The defense forced a turnover on downs on the last drive. Hey, remember... You don't have to go for it on fourth down. The last time you had the football, you went for it on fourth down, and you didn't convert. Just think about this. If you move the ball into your opponent's territory, and you want to take a chance, and it makes sense to go for it on fourth down, I understand that, and I get it. But when you're in your own territory, and it's fourth down and five or longer, just considering a punt would make me so happy. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. Complete. He's got room to work. He's taken down around the 24 yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill. The spike will stop the clock. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24 yard line. We have less than a minute to go. Quick pass. Touchdown, Rice! Well, there's still life. I don't see a comeback on the horizon, but there isn't any question they'll be seeing an onside kick. makes the PAT. It was a five-play, 66-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. He's taken down at the 43. Oklahoma State's shown they're every bit as good on offense as the stats would suggest. The thing that stood out to me is they are anticipating what this defense is trying to do to stop them. When they see blitz, they're able to check to it, get a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and hit big plays. And that anticipation is a difference maker in this football game. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. From the 45-yard line, second down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Orange three. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. Joseph's play today, I think, shows again why he is one of the best in the country. Sadly for him, they don't get the victory. Well, he puts on a huge performance, and his team loses. I mean, hopefully he goes back and he talks to his teammates and tries to really help them get over this loss because it's not about his own performance. It's about the team losing the game. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.